A very good morning to all of you, my dear children. Today we would like to start a new chapter that is Microbes in Human Welfare under the unit Biology in Human Welfare. In this chapter, we will study what are microbes, how the microbes are beneficial in the production of household products and how it can be used in industry for the commercial production of certain chemicals and how it can be used for the sewage treatment and how the biogas can be generated which can be used in various ways especially in the rural areas. Let's get started. First, the question that comes to our mind that is what are microbes? Microbes are the organisms which cannot be seen with naked eyes. For the observation of the microbes, we need microscope or the magnifying glasses. That's why they are called microbes. Microbes can be present everywhere where we cannot expect the other organisms. It can be present in the soil, it can be present in the air, it can be present in the atmosphere, even it can be present inside the body of the living organisms, human being, animals and the plants and even outside the body and even in the areas where the high temperature is present like hot spring and even in the snow region hot spring that is the temperature maybe up to 100 degrees centigrade and even more than that and even in the region like the uh, snowfall hilly regions where the temperature is uh, minus 19 degrees centigrade there also the microbes may be present so microbes are present everywhere microbes can infect the living organisms and thus become responsible for developing various types of diseases not only in human it is responsible for causing diseases in uh, plants and animals also that we have learned in our previous chapter but at the same time microbes are also beneficial for us it can be used for the benefit of the mankind let's get started so what we have learned that the microbes are present everywhere even under the extreme conditions that where the no life forms could exist okay and the microbes include diverse forms like viruses bacteria protozoa fungi viroids prions and the other microscopic animals what are viroids viroids are the organisms only with the ribonucleic acid without the protein coat which are infectious in nature and prions are the proteinaceous infectious body okay and viruses viruses contain both the ribonucleic acid and the protein coat so all these are under these microorganisms because we cannot see with our naked eyes we need the microscope right and we have discussed also that is they may be pathogenic that is may be responsible for developing variety of diseases and also can be used for the benefit of the mankind even microbes can be grown easily within a short period of time in the laboratories and at industrial scale for the research and the production of various useful products like alcohols and uh, different other enzymes we will discuss now. Now first we will discuss how microbes may be beneficial in the production of household products. First one that we are going to discuss that is curds. Curds can be produced by the bacteria Lactobacillus acidophilus and the other members of the Lactobacillus and commonly they are known as lactic acid bacteria. 
the milk is boiled and then the temperature is lowered down less than 40 degrees centigrade and then the inoculum or the starter containing these lactobacillus acidophilus or the lactic acid bacteria in, introduced into that milk and then what happens these lactobacillus group of bacteria are responsible for releasing the enzyme lactase which helps to break down the lactose sugar which is present in the milk and thus responsible for the conversion of the lactose sugar into the lactic acid. This lactic acid actually coagulates the milk protein casein and it is easily digested by the human being and also it increases the nutritive quality by improving or increasing the vitamin B12 content. It has anti-cancerous property also and this card protects us from not allowing the growth of other microbes. These bacteria are also present in the gut and the stomach and thus check the growth of the other microbes as I told you. Now the next one that is the yogurt. For the production of the yogurt that microbes uh, Streptococcus thermophilus or Lactobacillus bulgaricans can be used. Here the first the milk is raise the temperature up to 80 to 90 degrees centigrade then it is lower down less than 40 degree centigrade and uh, starter or the inoculum containing the streptococcus is mixed with it and within near about four hours yogurt is produced which can be uh, used uh, with the fruits and uh, used as a food item and it can be served on the dining table then the dough Formation, fermented dough can also be produced by the use of different types of bacteria like bac microbes like yeast. Saccharomyces cerevisiae actually it is used for fermenting the dough. The puffed up appearance develop due to the fermentation and due to the production of the carbon dioxide which is used for making dosa, idli, that is the South Indian delicious dishes. I hope many of you like it, isn't it? So here, uh, the microbe which is used, that is Saccharomyces cerevisiae, and due to the fermentation, it produces carbon dioxide, and thus it helps in the softening of the dough, which is used for idli and dosa. And in the, uh, uh, for the bread production also, this Saccharomyces cerevisiae, the yeast is used. Okay. And now the toddy. What is toddy? Toddy is the fermented drink which is taken up by the South Indians and it is produced uh, due to the fermentation of the uh, coconut sap, that is the palm sap. Okay. Now the next one. That is, uh, the microbes can also be used for the production of the uh, soybeans, the far fermented soybeans and uh, for fermenting the fish or the bamboo shoots to prepare various types of delicious food items. These, these organisms represent the Saccharomyces cerevisiae, right? Microbes can also be used for the production of various types of cheese which you like the most. Different kinds of cheese have different types of taste and texture and for that different types of microorganisms are used up. For example, that is the Swiss cheese where we find the large holes uh, that is produced by the bacterium Propionibacterium charmani 
and here the large hole, holes are produced due to the production of large amount of carbon dioxide. Now the another type of cheese that is the Rakifort cheese which is uh, prepared by Penicillium Rakiforti and for Cambered cheese Penicillium Camembert Camemberti is used. Camembert cheese, Rakifort cheese, Swiss cheese all are been tasty and delicious though out the most common one is the Swiss cheese and here all these are produced by the activity of the microbes because they help in fermentation and thus produce in the production of large amount of carbon dioxide. Now the next part that is the microbes in industrial products. For industrial scale production microbes are also used but this time they are allowed to grow in a large vessel which are called the fermenters. These vessels are called the fermenters where a large amount of products can be produced. Many alcoholic beverages, antibiotics, chemicals are produced commercially, right? Uh, Already we have discussed that is the Swiss cheese and uh, that is the yogurt, soya bean. We have discussed that is uh, microbes are also used for the production of the beverages, fermented beverages, like right? Various types of beverages like wine, beer, rum, brandy, whiskey that are produced by the activity of the uh, uh, microorganism that is the Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Even it is used for the lactic acid pro uh, vinegar production and also uh, for the for production of the nail polish remover and the rubbing alcohol, right? Now the first one that we are going to discuss that is the beverages. Here the fermented beverages, various types of alcoholic beverages are produced by the activity of the enzyme Saccharomyces cerevisiae. It is called brewer's yeast. Actually the different types of uh, beverages like whiskey, rum, brandy, these are produced and this production depends on the raw material which is used for the fermentation and also it depends on the process that is whether it is distilled or without distillations are produced. So generally that is without distillation uh, that the wine and the beers are produced and with distillation that is the rum, whiskey, brandy are produced. Okay, And these large vessels are called the fermenters where large amount of beverages are produced. Now the next one is antibiotic. Antibiotic, these what are antibiotics? Antibiotics are the secondary metabolites which are uh, produced by the microorganisms. The discovery of the antibiotics was by chance. While Alexander Fleming was working uh, with a um, for, for the growth of the streptococcus, sorry, staphylococci, he observed that uh, in an petri dish which was not sterilized, there was a there was a growth uh, of a certain fungi, and that fungi didn't allow the formation of the colony of the staphylococci. And then he observed, he found out that these. Uh, uh, this fungi is the penicillium notatum and it is responsible for secreting a chemical which didn't allow the growth of the staphylococci. So on the basis of the name of the fungus, he named that chemical that is the penicillin. Thus the penicillin had discovered by Alexander Fleming by chance. Okay, And it is allowed, uh, it is used as antibiotic and uh, it was widely used during World War II, 
42 to treat the American soldiers and uh, along with the actually uh, that the this antibiotic can be used for the treatment uh, that was widely discovered and recognized by other two scientists that is the flore and chain so al fl along with flore chain uh, fleming received the nobel prize for their work in the year 1945 microbes are also used for the production of various types of antibiotics like bacitracin which is obtained from the bacillus subtilis then which is used for the disease syphilis uh, streptomycin which is obtained from the streptomyces it is used for the meningitis pneumonia then chloromycetin which is obtained from the streptomyces venezuela it is used for the treatment of the typhoid then erythromycin uh, obtained from the streptomyces erythras and it is also used for the treatment of the whooping cough diphtheria then tetracycline it is obtained from streptomyces oreofaciens and it is used for uh, recovery of the urinary and the intestinal tract infection also used in conjunctivitis so these microbes actually uh, responsible for the secretion of the chemicals which are harmful for uh, the other organisms that uh, kill the other microbes if it is obtained from the bacteria they are responsible for killing uh, fungi which are harmful for us but these chemicals are not harmful for the bacteria uh, that particular organism itself that is if it is produced by bacteria they are responsible for killing the fungi how by blocking their metabolic pathways or the uh, chemicals which are produced by the fungi they are responsible for killing the bacteria uh, and how in the same way that is by blocking the metabolic pathways thus in this way they help us to get protection from the various types of diseases which are caused by various types of microorganisms so antibiotics are produced from the microbes the first vaccine was developed by edward jenner for the smallpox okay and uh, many vaccines have been developed by various for various viral diseases also like polio hepatitis a and b and here actually what is done what are the vaccines vaccines are prepared from the weakened or the attenuated disease causing microorganisms its surface protein or the toxins which are uh, no more pathogenic but uh, it provides the immunity so it can be used as vaccine now the microbes used in industrial products for the production of the chemicals and enzymes various types of chemicals are produced organic acids are produced uh, from the microbes like citric acid it is obtained from aspergillus niger and acetic acid it is obtained from acetobacter aceti lactic acid it is obtained from lactobacillus butyric acid it is obtained from the clostridium butylicum and ethanol it is obtained from the saccharomyces cerevisiae it is used for the brewery industry it is used for the bakery industry also various types of enzymes are produced uh, from the microbes which are beneficial for us for example that is the streptococcus that produces the enzyme streptokinase okay this streptokinase is genetically modified and used as clot bluster for the removal of the blood clots from the blood vessels at the time of heart attack okay for the car when there is a cardiac attack that time the uh, blood gets clotted within the blood vessel and that can be removed by uh, using streptokinase then the lipase 
it is obtained from the candida lipolytica and uh, it is used for the detergent formulation and these lipase actually disintegrates uh, fat thus the uh, it is used for the removal of oil strains so it is used in the laundry it is used for the detergent formulation now the next one that is the mortierella ramispora uh, is responsible for the production of protease and pectinase is also obtained from the bisochalmis fulva and they are used as clarifying the bottle juices the sauces that we buy from the market we find much more clearer why because they are these uh, for the uh, for making that uh, sauce these morciarella remispora and the bisochalmis fulva these are used because they are responsible for the production of the protease and the pectinase and they are responsible for the disintegration of the pectin wall and the protein wall so uh, it gives the much more uh, clearer appearance right now microbes are also used for the preparation of production of certain bioactive molecules for example that the cyclosporin a it is produced by trichoderma polysporum okay trichoderma polysporum and it is used as suppressor of the immune system especially at the time of organ transplantation uh, the patients uh, treated with the cyclosporin a to reduce uh, the adverse effect and it is used as a suppressor of the immune system at the time of organ transplantation okay and now the next one is the statin statin is produced from the yeast monascus purpureus monascus purpureus and it is used to lower the blood cholesterol level by inhibiting the cholesterol synthesis okay actually uh, how does it work actually it acts by competitive inhibition uh, of the enzyme responsible for synthesis of the cholesterol so we have learned in this video that a wide variety of microbes uh, maybe bacteria maybe fungi um, uh, uh, that are used for the production of wide variety of antibiotics they are used in the bakery industry brewery industry they are used in the medicinal field for lowering the cholesterol even the removal of the blood clotting and also used in the bakery brewery industry and different types of beverages can also be produced so that means the microbes can be used for the benefit of the mankind in our next video we will discuss how the microbes can be used uh, in the sewage treatment right so till then